when 9-11 occurred, I was in St. Louis. Um, obviously, everyone knows flights were suspended, so I decided on the 13th <laughs> to steal the Buick. <laughs> and I drove home <laughs> back to Florida from St. Louis. And on that ride, I mean, after what had just trans transpired two days prior, I did a lot of reflecting about my life, things that I was doing, things that I wasn't doing. And for some reason, I just felt like we weren't doing enough. Well, lo and behold, a month or so later, um, it just hit me. We need to build a learning center. Not a golf learning center where kids learn how to hit golf shots, but a learning center t for them to develop their education, their mind, skills that they're going to need for the future, understanding how to develop a career, how to chase after a dream. These are all different things that I was lucky enough to have happen in my life. I had people around me who cared. And not all these kids that are here um, have been afforded such opportunities. So one day I went into Greg's office and said, hey, bud, we got a little work to do. We're going to build a learning center. He's like, what? <laughs> yeah, man, we're going to build a learning center. Where? I said, here, Southern California. OK, go to work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, lo and behold, the community comes together. Our mayor, the city of Anaheim, Orange County, all of Southern California, then the state, believed in what we are trying to do, what we're trying to develop, what we're trying to create. All of a sudden, from a dream, here comes a 35,000 square foot facility where kids now have the opportunities to create a future for themselves and more importantly feel safe feel safe to learn feel safe to grow and more importantly it's theirs this is not it's not mine it's not my family's it's theirs it's all of you guys this is your learning center they created the curriculum. The kids wanted to learn something that they weren't being taught in school. They felt like they weren't being fired up enough in their normal academic environments. So hence, what do they do? They watch CSI. <laughs> um, hence, we have a forensics lab up here. Well, I want to become a rapper. OK, how do you become a rapper? Well, we have to learn how to record. We have to learn how to develop a record, all the engineering that goes behind that. Hence, we have a recording studio. So as you can see, it was their idea. It's their curriculum. It's for them. And it's theirs. Now, it's an opportunity for them to learn and grow. But more importantly, I want to say thank you, everyone who was involved, to make a dream come true. Ah. Um, you know, I've had a lot of opportunities in my life, a lot of wonderful opportunities to do some pretty cool things. This by far is the greatest thing that's ever happened for me to come back to Southern California, come back to where I grew up. I played high school golf right here at HG Dad Miller. Um, to come back and create a learning center for these kids is um, near and dear to my heart. And it, I was very lucky. I had two parents that, that loved me dearly. My mom, um, as Maria so eloquently described. <laughs> and my father. My father's not here today. He's been, been a little bit sick, been battling a few things, so. <sighs> Well, I talked to him last night, and I talked to him yesterday, and it, um, he, he just wanted, we talked, rapped for a little bit about all different things, and then we started talking about the Learning Center and how um, he was disappointed that he couldn't be there. He couldn't be there to support the kids, couldn't be there to support, you know, all of us who, all the entire community came together, couldn't be there to support. Well, 
You did want me to deliver one message. Thank you. You want to say thank you. Thanks for coming together and helping these kids have a future. And from my family, all the people who are involved, the foundation staff who worked tireless hours to create this, all the kids, thousands upon thousands of kids are going to come through the doors to further their lives and have a better future. We all say thank you very much.